You know, it's kind of surprising given that the word reviews is in my name, that I don't do what I'm about to do more often than I already do. That makes sense. Sunny D Vodka Seltzer. <laughs> hey there, Heather Ho there. My name is Michael. Welcome back to Mike's Hard Reviews. Uh, today, we're going to go ahead and do a product review, something that I don't normally do on the show, but kind of had in mind when I came up with the name. I was walking through the store getting stuff for our uh, video last week uh, about Faberetto, the first trans bartender from India. Go ahead and watch that video. Um, please watch that video. Uh, it's a phenomenal, uh, phenomenal look at a very phenomenal person and you should enjoy that. While I was at the store getting stuff for that video, I went through the liquor section and found this sitting uh, in like at the counter, like in like a little rack that nobody had touched yet um, and thought, wow, that's fucking crazy uh, and kind of dangerous for a couple reasons. <laughs> Sunny D is like a kid's juice drink. To make an alcoholic seltzer out of it and have it be so prominently labeled Sunny D and have like some other cheeky name that isn't as relatable seems a little dangerous. If you have kids, maybe don't invest in this. That being said, I do appreciate that at the very least they say vodka seltzer right on the front in big bold text so that nobody buys this thinking it's non-alcoholic and accidentally discovers that it does have alcohol in it. That's nice. <laughs> Truly and White Claw are a lot less good about that. They're like the other two primary seltzers. They're not vodka seltzers, they're, you know, uh, malt seltzers, but they, they're they not as good about that. So at the very least, you know, I like that you're like, hey, vodka seltzer, there's vodka written up here at the top. I see vodka on the bottom and all the sides and there's written general warnings and it says alcohol content right there and good stuff. I bought these and I brought them home and I showed them to my roommate. And her first response was, I had a Sunny D recently, actually. I was like, oh, was it good? And she just went, no, it wasn't. So I'm excited to see if this is anything like the Sunny D of my youth and uh, whether or not it's worth buying or drinking. So let's go ahead and dive into it, I guess. These are four and a half uh, percent alcohol by volume with 95 calories each. And it says no, uh, no sugar added, so I assume that means that whatever sugar is in there is from the Sunny D that they already added sugar to. So it's 95 calories, two grams of carbohydrates, no fat, no protein. Thank God there's no protein in my vodka seltzer, Jesus Christ. Let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open. The cans are kind of reminiscent of most other seltzer cans. Got the nice little clean Sunny D marketing on the front there. Again. Not crazy about it being called Sunny D. It should be called something else to avoid as much confusion as possible. But again, nice big bold vodka seltzer on the front. I like that. Contains alcohol. I like that. Vodka with real orange juice, sparkling water, natural orange flavor, and other natural flavors. You know, that's actually not all that bad, all things considered. I do like that companies are reaching towards vodka seltzers rather than um, malt beverages like Truly's, like, uh, like, those, that different kind of seltzer, like a brewed seltzer. You get more alcohol, or rather the same amount of alcohol at least, in a smaller volume. So you can do more with the rest of what's in the can, and generally speaking, that means it can taste better. So that's, 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 you know, that's hopeful. I like that, that's hopeful. 12 fluid ounces per can. Is a certain general warning. Nothing else on here, actually. I'm kind of surprised. <laughs> There's no ridiculous copy. There's no dumb life story. They're, I, this seems pretty honest. They're just saying, hey, it's a Sunny D vodka seltzer. So <laughs> fake orange juice, vodka, and seltzer water. It's basically um, a uh, fizzy, I guess it'd be like a fizzy screwdriver, actually. Interesting. Go ahead and give it a crack. Not that fizzy. <laughs> I shook that box up, slamming it down on the counter. I'm surprised it didn't explode on me just now. I'm gonna taste this, but I'm gonna pull up the the G and T from last episode as a palate cleanser, because I have a feeling I'm not gonna like this. Oh wow, actually, hold on. On the nose, it tastes kind of, or smells kind of like a, like orange candies, like an orange popsicle, actually. Like, actually, exactly like an orange popsicle. Wow, I mean, it smells really good. I like the smell. Let's um, let's give it a taste. Hmm. Fuck, I'm stupid. And I just spilled shit. Oh, that's not what I was expecting. Hold on. Huh. <laughs> they say it's a natural orange flavor. I don't know what about that tastes natural. It's not unnatural tasting, but it reminds me of those uh, Zoa um, 
energy drinks, the one that The Rock makes. They have an orange flavored one and it tastes exactly like that actually. Very sweet, um, not a lot going on uh, aside of that though. It's sweet carbonated orange, <laughs> honestly. It's, it's all it is. And actually, that's kind of scary because there's 5% alcohol in these as much as like most like middle range non-light beers in most other seltzers. I can't taste it. <laughs> Like I said, the same amount of alcohol in a smaller volume, you can do more with everything else in the can, and that means all of the flavors and like the sugars and the quality of your carbonation. It, it's, it doesn't taste like alcohol. That's actually really dangerous. It's, 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 it actually doesn't suck. I don't, I don't hate it. Now the question becomes, does it taste like Sunny D? And to the best of my memory, yes but actually more mature. Sunny D has this really intense, from my memory anyway, I'm sure the recipe's changed since I was a kid. Sunny D has this like really intense tartness and sweetness that I think comes from the way that they make these insanely processed, preserved juices. And frankly, it doesn't have that, but it has the same kind of orange flavor characteristic to it. It feels more grown up. Actually, it's it's less intensely sweet, you know? It tastes kind of like an orange LaCroix, almost. But if LaCroix didn't taste like shit, because this actually isn't objectionable. It's actually really, really good. Um, and I hate, I fucking hate to say that, actually. That's crazy. <laughs> it's not bad. Um, not particularly noteworthy, but an okay vodka seltzer. And really, the reason I like it so much, I think, is because I like the flavor of orange. This is a pretty solid orange flavor, kind of veering towards candy orange, but it does have a kind of nice, like, sort of semi-realism to it, you know, approximating what an actual orange, like, smells like, like the essence of an orange. And you don't get that in any other seltzer, as far as I'm aware. I'm actually kind of surprised, because, like, I thought this was gonna blow so hard and it doesn't. It's really, it's actually really good. I, I don't think there's any other companies off the top of my head that make an orange, like alcohol, orange flavored alcoholic seltzer. I can't think of another one on the market that has an orange flavor. Maybe High Noon, which is another vodka seltzer. Um, they might have uh, an orange flavored one, but in all honesty, Sunny Bee might have kind of cor cornered the market, which is stunning that that's the case. I, I don't know what else to think, frankly. I, I I think it's an honest orange flavored vodka seltzer. Does it need to have the Sunny D moniker on it? No, I would actually prefer that it doesn't because I think it gives it a bad name. I feel like this is marketed towards people in my exact age bracket where you see Sunny D, you're like, oh, I had that as a kid, but now it's got vodka in it. Hey, I do that anyway when I go out drinking and like partying. Fuck it, might as well just buy this and I get the exact same thing. But if this is more like honest and refined and it feels like a decent quality product, I don't get anything bad about this that I would get on any other seltzer. Um, like flavor wise or smell wise or mouthfeel wise, this is honest. <laughs> and honestly, really, really good. So that's uh, Sunny D Vodka Seltzer, a, uh, a drink that I didn't think I'd like, um, which is, Stunning that it doesn't suck, really. I honestly thought it was just gonna be abysmal and inedible, but it's pretty damn good. To cap this off, I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick reading from Crisp Toast. We've been doing this in our regular videos uh, where I'm covering different drinks and different bartenders, and I figure I might as well continue it here just in case. We continue to read from the section of Absent Friends from Crisp Toasts. Uh, today's toast goes like this. Here's to our absent friends. God bless them. <laughs> Short and sweet. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, click that like button down below and subscribe to catch more. I don't do product reviews very often, but if you like them and this does well, let me know. I will, um, I'll keep doing them. <laughs> like, subscribe, follow the socials that are popping up on the screen right now. Uh, I am going to go take a waz and then do a bunch of video editing because the video that this drink is from uh, needs to get cut together tonight. So <laughs> I'm gonna go do that. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Remember to drink responsibly. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.